Minecraft Live has just happened. I have no idea what has been added, what is new in Minecraft. But I'm about to say who won the mob vote and what the next update theme is going to be and any other stuff about it. So I'm, I'm quite excited. And here we go. This is the intro they made, a little, uh, little animation. Is this Minecraft Live coming through? Is it? Is it? Who is it makes it? Is it? Is it Blue Monkey that makes these animations for it? It's, it's in that style that he does some of them, isn't it? Oh, they're all getting picked up. Anyway, anyway, we want to get to the features. Here we go. This is pretty cool. It's all CGI. I guess so. It's all green screen, but it looks kind of cool. And chief storyteller for Mojang Studios, Lydia Winters. Hello, Lydia. We know there's a lot going on around the world, and we want to take this time to have some fun together. Today, we jump into the game and celebrate all of you, our incredible community. Here we go, the mob vote section. Interesting. Hello, Minecrafters of Hello. the world. I'm Boo Booey, and I'm here to guide you through this year's mob vote. First up, we have yep. the crab. The crab, Crabs the armadillo, in the penguin. The Which swamps. one's gonna win? And I have no I, idea. You guys might know by now, but I, I have no I, idea. Are you seeing this? I, the claw is very handy for players who like building because they allow players to place blocks further away. Okay. What is even going on? The thing on? is, guys, if Penguin doesn't win, I'm going to be sad. All right, there's your warning, all right? If Penguin doesn't win, I'll be sad. So this bit now, is about a guy talking about Minecraft Legends. Minecraft Again, Legends. Well, let's see what is the continuing efforts I actually to never them. played Minecraft Legends. And I, I didn't hear that it was a lot of people really wanted to, so I, I just thought, I'll just not bother. I'll, I'll stick to the main game. The fighting and following you I mean, it does look kind of cool, doesn't it? I, it's so I, nice I, I can't possibly comment my on side it. In Legends. Yeah, maybe I should play. You guys can recommend. Is it, is it worth playing or not? I noticed that YouTubers that were playing it weren't getting that many views either. I was like, well, I don't want to put my time into making a video on it, and I don't really play games for fun because I kind of focused on doing games for, for YouTube, you know, Minecraft, so I never played it. So yeah, we have an animation by Element Animation, who I do, I do like them. The sniffer animation. I'm watching this. Sniffer and a camel. Very, uh, very, very good. Person in bed, asleep. What are you gonna do? Sneak off. What's going on, camel? <gasps> oh dear. Okay. What is happening here? A disastrous struck. The sniffer's getting away. The sniffer be sniffing. Uh oh. Oh, well done. You can break a lead. <laughs> I don't care. Why? Why is the sniffer doing this? Sniff to sniff, a sniff to see. Oh, the camel can jump across, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> You've just been out there, mate. Yeah, see you later, camel. Oh, there. That's it. Well done. Gotta get a, yeah, it'd be nice to the squid. Oh, you found him. Oh no. It's alright, they don't hurt him. What's he doing? They have no idea what, what he's doing. Oh, they don't like him though. It's a tough night for the camel, isn't it? Hello, sniffer. Oh no. Is he going to the nether? Could the nether be through? Could be a portal now then. It's tough life being a camel. How is that camel not dead, by the way? Well, it's still standing. You can respawn. Oh, I knew the nether was going to be involved. How did you get up there? And you just jumped up. What? Is the sniffer like friends of everyone? Don't do it, camel. Okay, well, if you find lava, you ain't going to survive that one, alright? Let's just be clear. It's just not showing it falling in lava. Oh, 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 you can survive lava, can you now? Hey, what happened to your tail? Uh oh. Gas, come on. <laughs> Where is this sniffer going? Oh. Well, you got through the portal anyway, well done. And you land. Hey, a soft landing as well. The sniffer's like, oh, here we go. I don't know why you think you need to look after this this, this sniffer. Clearly, he's, he's able to look after himself. And you have no idea where home is. Uh-oh. The player's going to wake up. 
You're going back. I bet the snippers back at home. I'm calling it. I can tell you right now. You did have to go through the water again. Sit down. The sniffer will just be there when you get back, won't it? I know what it's like. Oh, that's not the sniffer. You failed him. Huh. <laughs> See? Sniffer always comes back. He sniffs something. Does he have six legs? Wait, since when did Sniffers have six legs? Ah, oh, and he brought back a, a torch flower seed. There you go. Never in doubt. Never in doubt, ladies and gentlemen. We're back to the mob boat bit. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just playing with my new. I can't friend. Look, if you guys don't vote for Penguin, I have some Sunday. news. The mob vote is now over. I hope you got to cast your vote. If you somehow missed it, don't worry. The fun isn't over just yet. The live vote experience on Bedrock will still be open for another day. Join Tiny Agnes, Tiny Oh, so you could still go on, but your vote wouldn't matter. Oh, okay, I get it. And play game. Okay, are we going to get an answer? I'll I didn't... be able to announce. Okay, I really was to be chatting with an old friend Here we go. right now. What's I'm it really it? sorry about this. Whoa! But, uh... You can't do this. Hey, R2! <laughs> that's, that's evil. R2-D2, what are you doing yes, here? I'm are you in Minecraft or something? Oh, no, anyway, I want to know what no. the update's about. We're going through. Although this does look kind of cool. Is it a Minecraft Bedrock Star Wars map? Yeah, I, I'll admit. Look at that. Look at the cube planet. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. Yeah, not, not, but that's actually kind of impressive. These serious shows about very serious topics. Like this one right here. <laughs> look at that. Huh? Wait, that's a pretty good impression. <laughs> So for even more Minecraft, subscribe to our YouTube channel today. Nah, nah, subscribe to me instead, guys. <laughs> Come on, I want to know. What... Come on, you've got to announce it now, guys. Haley, there. Here we go. Friends, you're finally here. If he, if, 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 if he ends place. here, we know we're so getting it. It's so beautiful. It's really amazing. I, I, I built the track to the underground base. It's, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a shortcut. Okay, he's well, so I, like, I mean, he just doesn't I want to be there acting, does he? He's like, I'm a game developer, theater, so I'm not you're, a, you're an actor. You're sure it's a shortcut? Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> let's try it. I don't know, you're not very good at shortcuts from the mob boat videos, are you? Are you? We'll be there in no time. Sorry, chickens! I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. Who's it? Quite interactive. Good green screen work. Hey, nice, uh, nice lean forward as you arrive. Hey, uh, froggies. <laughs> Look at him giving the side eye. Look at that. Ah, uh, I oh, love is, this, this place. Is, this is very pretty. Wow. Although the minecarts are a bit That's slow. A Make them faster, Minecraft. Come on. That's right. Oh no. Yeah, you're gonna get wet. Why are they gonna be wet? <laughs> I think she got wet, but I don't. I don't think you understood. He was like, "I ain't signed up for that. I'll do this, but you ain't getting me to do the rest." I know he maybe is wet. Oh look! Oh, he's got luscious hair. Wow! Wow! That's a whole new side to him. Well, nice. <laughs> Not as luscious as uh, as the ends. Well, that's solved for now. And we have the results for the mob. <gasps> this is a moment. A it's not going to be the penguin. I know. So Before we continue, I know it's not going to be the penguin. Because I've seen everyone's do like test votes, like YouTubers on Twitter and stuff. Or X as it's called now. And, and everyone's just been voted for not the penguin. All right. Maybe my audience majority might have voted for the penguin. But my audience ain't as big as the entire Minecraft player base. So, yeah. I mean... It's, it'd be a shame if the penguin don't win, but I'm not getting my hopes up. This year, and so many it would be a big surprise if penguin because the features are so rubbish compared to the other ones. But the mob who received the least amount of those votes is the penguin. Oh, come on! You're kidding me! Are you kidding me? The least amount, guys. You had one job. I, I could have at least come second. Great. Well, Minecraft is ruined. That's it. Forget about it. <laughs> We've got to wait another year to maybe see a penguin now. The, the wait goes on. Don't feel too bad for the penguin. I got a minute. Remember our little frog friends didn't win the vote either, but they still managed to hop their way into the game. 
It's not over for the penguin, guys. The dream continues. The penguin for Minecraft 1.22. Come on. Come on. All right. That's it. It's not over now. We've we got a whole year to get it we in. We still have two amazing mobs left. Which one will win? No. We shall see. They're going to add penguins. They have to eventually. Maybe not this update, but they have to eventually. Anyone? In fact, you guys missed the chance with this one. Although, when they add penguins next time, when they do eventually, I'm, I'm getting my hopes up now he said that, they can do it with a better feature than just speeding up boats, because nobody, nobody cares about speeding up boats, do they? <laughs> Where are we? For decades, the BBC Studios Natural History Unit has pushed creative and technical boundaries to bring us tongue. incredible <laughs> stories from the world we all share. There's a lot of penguins in, in there. In 2022, Ooh, what is this? a creative collaboration between BBC Earth and Minecraft Education redefined how these stories could be Yeah, you could, you could show Minecraft the stuff. The frozen planet, so the real life stuff in Minecraft. See, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, here we go. All right, I don't know what I pressed with by mistake. The frozen planet two. So they can add penguins to Minecraft because they've already done it in the, magic, in the education map that... So don't tell me you can't code it into the main. I don't know. Well, this is just like a kick in the teeth. <laughs> Agnes, come on, tell us, tell us about the update. You did such an amazing job. It's beautiful. Right, Jen's gonna walk through that portal over there. Right? Come on, it. it's gotta happen. Oh, hello everyone. Although so there's not a to see you. What inside Minecraft? Chair for him, is there? We're all in the game. <laughs> Quite cool. So Agnes, last year you and oh no, that's so cute. <laughs> Well, that's what we get for being in a game. <laughs> See, the thing is, like, they've actually so noticed fly back, but they, they knew. You Maybe there's the a sound effect for really, them to act You that, decided to present cool. things in a very different way. <laughs> yes, so at last year's Minecraft Live, we decided to only show part of the Trails and Tales update. And then, throughout the development process, we could announce more features, so like archaeology. Yeah, yeah, they didn't the show much trees, in the Minecraft Live, but then they could add a lot yes, more, and, the and they weren't tied to it. Are they doing bosses. that this year? And we actually really like that, because it enabled us to be creative, and we could collaborate with the community. And we also saw a lot of excitement in the community throughout the full so development process. maybe it works process, better not showing all the plans straight away, so, so they can want, change We things. want to do the same approach this year as well. So I we're not really going to get much of that change. So, what's the Minecraft game team up to? Well, we're actually doing quite many things. So, for example, we have some amazing developers working on tools for us to make our development process more efficient that's and more cool. joyful. Oh, that's Because if, so if they can good. make it more efficient, it they can is, make I'm, new I'm very, things very faster. Thankful can't for that. And another thing I, I would love to mention is that this week uh, we released to snapshots, betas, and preview a, no, a, a new really cute feature and that is that you can put items inside decorated pots. Oh, I, I saw that. that. Yeah, yeah, so you can you'll like, just revisit pop them in. some older features. Which is cool because they're still yeah, like so we want to have, like a good balance adding between little adding things new in like 1.9 and also going back no, and improving existing things. And That's such a good idea. Out, so. And we are also working on a new update coming next year. Here we go. I think we all want called? you to tell us about that. Oh, well then. <laughs> Here we go. So you know, Be the end of term, we want to evolve Minecraft for everyone. And in the recent recent years, we focus a lot on creativity mm -hmm. and exploration. So before this year, it it's redstone? time to focus more on like combat adventures and on tinkering. Okay. My time has finally come. So I'm an redstone. adventurer. <laughs> I know. Combat adventure. Okay, I don't know what that means exactly, and but anyway, let's next see. Next year, Minecraft turns 15 years old. Wow. Oh, wow. I know. I think it's really precious. And so we were thinking, wouldn't it be quite cool that after 15 years of Minecraft, it's time to test your skills in some new trials? Trials. Oof. Yes, new dimensions. Miles. No, I doubt so it. You never know, though. We're adding a new, big, multiple room structure called the trial chambers. Ooh. Okay, this sounds cool. And these trial chambers consist of like multiple new features, and they also have a unique hey. visual style. So 8,372 like days in Minecraft. Chambers, I can go into these trial chambers. Really anyway, I, I should be listening. Play. So, so it's like when you are inside those chambers, it really feels like you are in a place you've never seen in Minecraft before. Wait, did they change? The These trial chambers consist of like multiple new features and they also have a unique visual style. So, so it's like when you are inside those chambers. 
So now you need visual amazing, style. Okay. And I think you need to show everyone. Yes. Let's see these. Let's see these child Join me to my room, and we can meet some of the team members. So we can see part of the new features coming to the update. Here we go. Are they, are, maybe they're not giving us a name for this update. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, behind the bookcases. That's kind of cool. E, hi, Mosh. I see you found oh, something skin, rather epic here. Yes. I've been digging around our caves, and I found a trial chamber. Oh, is this the trial chamber, then? Lovely! A big part of this update is that we really want to add new adventures for our more combat allowing players. And the chamber certainly includes some exciting challenges. I wonder if they've got new mobs so, in here as well, then. what we're looking at here in the center of everything is the corridor. I wonder if it's kind of like the roguelike dungeon spot. I wonder if it's different every time as well, like a different The corridor structure. leads to different rooms, and it can lead to supply chests. There you must can be a find lot of things that'll challenge you. you. Like, there's got to be a reason to but come here. also things that'll help you. The shame bears are new structures that are combined of lots of different rooms. They are procedurally generated, so okay, there cool. is a lot of variation. And like it's so fun because each time we play tested, it felt like finding a new chamber. It was exciting each time. So there is a lot That's of variation. That's always good when lots of different things to do. Don't fall. His eyes are <laughs> I really, really <laughs> like the like the unique visual style we so made in this game. So can you just chambers. mine your way around it though? Really or is it like, you like can't, when kind of like you in the monument, you can't find those chambers, you know, you know you found something it. special. I wonder if, or is it just like... Sarah! Is that a place oh, where... Hey there, Agnes. While they're talking. Is it a place where you, you can explore it and it's worth exploring, if you know what I mean? Like, like, it's not a place where you can just dig through the walls to skip it all. Like, hopefully there's some way to make it where you, you can't just cheese it, if you know what I mean. We are surrounded by so many beautiful new decorative blocks. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, I think the cool. top blocks it will be a lot of fun to build with because of its geometrical design. Oh, that's a new block, yeah. And copper gets more uses too. Oh, is it? The are they tough? Different to tough variations. A tinkered kind of feel, and the new copper bulbs give players a fun Ooh, way to nice light, light up their sauce. builds. We actually just used some of them in our village, and it created such a cozy feeling. Oh yeah, there's a new one on the ladder as well. I'm so excited to see what people build with these new blocks. I'm just gonna take a couple of these grates. Yeah, I guess you can. It makes sense that you can mine this stuff up. I think it's so nice because, because we that's can use these new it? blocks to create exciting experiences. But then also all of you amazing players can just be like super creative and, and tinker with these blocks to build like anything you can imagine. That is true. I mean, I can't imagine uh, there's about four different blocks added. I don't, well, maybe more than that if there's stair variants and stuff. But, oh, here is one yeah, of the supply chests. What have we got in the supply chest? Talking about? Hi, Brandon. Hey, Agnes. So nice, you're making it brighter in here. Yeah, these copper Ooh. bulbs, when they get oxidized, they get quite dim, but with this axe, I can actually oh, scrape Oh, so the copper bulbs, when they oxidize, get less bright. That's kind of a cool I picture. love that mechanic so much. And can you wax it so like, that they the stay more oxidized, oxidized uh, they don't the get oxidized. Are, cool. The more dim the light will be. I think it's super interesting for storytelling. Definitely. I, I don't ah, yeah, need that's to a bring cool torches thing. anymore to the trial chambers. I just bring an axe and light Makes you feel like there's an old place. Oh, yeah, that's true. In the trial chambers, you can just use an axe to, to, to do it. The old, uh, you know, a wax on, spotter. wax off. Time for a combat challenge. Yay! Oh, here we go. A trial okay, spawner. Oh, ice that's cool. around the trial spawner. That so looks it's different than usual. Strays. What's our plan? Well, I will go ahead and scrape up some oxidation. Wait, so new spawners. Spawner, spawner types, isn't it? Fight. You can make new you farms, ready? perhaps. Because because it's like literally a stray spawner, which you know yes. we didn't have before. That's cool. Let's go. Although I don't know if you had a, a, a normal skeleton spawner oh, in a oh, no, snow biome that would spawn strays or not. I'll I don't take know. this one. Guys, you should have come with diamond, full diamond armor. Come on. What? She got diamond boots. Nice one, Agnes. Yes. They've all got the slowness. Ah, it got me. It got me. It got you. Agnes, yes, we're covered in arrows. <laughs> come on, break the spawner. Yay! Oh, oh. Victory. It spawns out Brandon. items. That's cool. So this is a trial spawner. It's actually a new variant of spawners, which adapts based on the amount of players that join the fight. 
it actually spawns a limited amount of mobs compared to a normal spawner. Yeah, we really okay. wanted this to be a fun challenge, both so you in can't make it and in multiplayer. A bar amount of it, and this it'll is also only why we so both mobs. got some nice loot. But the more players, the more it spawns. So you can see cool. the smoke coming out of the trial spawner. That actually means that it's on cooldown, so we can come back later and play this all again. Okay. Yes, yeah, so break don't them. break it. We want everyone on our realm to play the combat challenge. I guess you can break it if you want. All right, to. I'm up for more challenges. Want to go to another room? Soon, but I don't know actually. Because that's like that'd ahead. be too easy. I just go and break the spawner, and then oh no, you know you don't get the reward though, do you? If you break the spawner. Okay, here we are the village. Oh hi. Eu estou a caminho da minha maior aventura. Wow, good luck. <laughs> Little cameo for him. So this is the old copper village. Babu Agnes, que es una mascotita muy kawaii. Oh, an axolotl. Of course I want it. Thank you. Okay, what else we got in here? Is there any new stuff in the village? Give an eagle eye <gasps> open. Oh, that's so pink and so cute. The world could always use more color. That's lovely. That's what I know, Catherine. Yeah, I think I've been in MCC with her. I think that's that's what I'm pretty sure she has. That's and I'm, and is she in like other one life? I don't know. That's cool. Anyway, that's very cool that she's in it. Yeah, she hasn't been in since MCC 14, but that's probably why I recognise the name, but wasn't sure because it's it's been a while since MCC 14. Anyway, yes. back to Minecraft Live. Hi. It seems like you placed a crafter here. Oh, a crafter. Is this a new, new yes. feature? With a crafter, you can automate crafting with redstone. Oh. Auto crafters. That is actually going to be huge for builds. Oh, that changed. That's a game changer. You can literally. No way. No way. That's actually so good because you can literally take, like, a cobblestone farm and a wood farm and a, a red and, and like redstone fed into it and iron and you can auto. Oh, that's going to be huge. Oh, crafting's going to be so much easier. This is actually yeah, that's that's really good. When you need a full shulker box of like observers or pistons or something, you can auto craft them. That could be cool. To a crafting table, except instead of pulling the item out yourself, you can use the redstone pulls to get it out. I gonna have this crafting table. That could be that could be signs. very Everyone useful. can decorate the village with them. Okay, yeah, hanging signs. Of all the things you could have auto crafted, and that's let's the place a button here. Okay, and does it just dispense it? And I'll press the button. And oh again. yes. Yay, oh, a little really animated nice. texture as well. And the thing is, you could just stick a hopper next to it, so that, and, and just have like a redstone pulse. So you don't need a button. You could just have like a comparator, just complete pulsing it out. And yeah, but oh, is it as good as you think? Like, can you feed the items into it with a hopper to craft it? Because it would be completely pointless if you couldn't, wouldn't it? Like, it wouldn't be an auto crafter. It would just be a crafting table that that stores it for you. So it, it must be that you can hopper it in or set it. Like, let's say you you put the items in you want. And then you just go, and then you can just feed the hopper in. It'll go into those stacks of the items. There must be something like that. But that's very cool. I think I think it I, I think it, it it should be automatic AFKable kind of a thing. Oh hi! Finally, the keyboard is tall. Suk suk, cut us some more trees. Well, it will grow taller than you. I hope so too. What else we got in this village? Wow, you've been busy. Yes, I've been building an automated sword crafter, but instead of pressing a button, it just keeps on crafting. Ah, well, this is what I said. <laughs> we used yeah. new toggleable slots to make sure that the hoppers place items where we want them. Oh, toggleable slots. Oh, this looks like a mod. It's so cool. I like that. So, oh, nice. That's pretty cool. That's so the crafter is, is so precious because you can both do these like really advanced contraptions, but it's also very welcoming. So we hope that it will be delightful to use both for like redstone beginners and redstone experts. Yeah, I think that's a cool feature. It's been wanted for a long time as an auto crafter. Before you head out, make sure to grab. There's only one other thing we need now: pushable dispensers. That would that's like the the, the other big thing. Or, or just pushable like. Blocks that store entities would be amazing. Tomorrow. I doubt they'll do that. But oh, that'll be cool. thank you. Yeah, that's or perfect. Or some sort of the head block that does do that, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, where else we got? Oh, more auto crafted stuff. Shabam. Oh, wait, it auto crafted oh, the yeah. armor and then now put it on. This will be a that's kind of cool. Oh, they're in the trial chambers back in. Okay. It's New Magnus. Stuff. 
Hello, Magnus. Ready to fight the breeze? Oh, yes. The breeze. Ooh, a new mob. Right. I'll let them take care of that. Oh, look at it. It's like a the tornado mob. A playful, hostile mob that jumps around and uses wind to provide a combat encounter unlike any other in Minecraft. That's cool. I just got hit by the wind charge. A yeah, I like that. Energy from the breeze. The wind charge doesn't deal any damage when it bursts and blows things away, but it does deal damage when it collides directly with something. Wait, so it, it, it might just me, hit fine. you, Corey? Like in, it, like a camellia, but it can't. It, it can't, also interacts with certain. But it can blocks. blow you away as well. Yeah, like buttons and trapdoors. Destroys block. Wait, what? It turns into trapdoors. Certain uh, opens trapdoors. Yeah, like buttons and trapdoors. Okay, I mean that's only useful, I guess, in the trial chambers because otherwise, the room when are you going to be stood on a load of trapdoors? <laughs> we hope you enjoy these playful combat encounters with the breeze when you stumble it across them in the new trial chambers. It's grumpy and cute, but also really rude. I'm Imagine here. if it like drops like some sort of breeze item that like allows you to fire yourself or like I don't know, boost yourself upwards. Like a I don't know, it just could be something cool like that, couldn't it? Now. Or you could get a breeze item where you can push things away. I could be useful in combat, I guess. Like a like imagine what? you get attacked by someone and they use a breeze item and it it, it flings them away. That, that could be a cool combat feature, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh, go in arrows. A really tough fight. It was. What? I just loved seeing all of you play together on the realm and like letting everyone get to meet more of the development team. Yes, it was so fun. And I think like a really lovely thing with this update is that of oh, course it's a <laughs> single player, but we have also put a lot of effort in ensuring it's very fun in multiplayer. I reckon they would introduce new combat then in this. Please friends. do. If they introduce new combat, I, I don't have to try and get like extra, extra good at the current combat, do I? They, they might do, you know, they might do. Anyway. Right. And the trial chambers. The first time I saw them, my mind was blown. Yes, like cool. I love the unique visual style we created with like the new decorative blocks. And also we just showed like a few of the rooms. So I'm really looking forward to like when there's a lot more to say. get there's to explore to say. the trial chambers and find all the things we didn't show. There's a room that I love so much <laughs> and I can't wait for everyone to like finally get oh, to see Oh, you know it. stuff we don't know, eh? Oh well. And we cannot forget a very grumpy new mob the breeze yes this little whirlwind with the most like epic eyebrows ever however don't let it fool you because it's actually quite challenging to fight it and what i like really really love with fighting the breeze is that since it um, activates contraptions in the room like a dispensing dispenser shooting arrows that's kind of cool because in the trial chambers there could be all sorts of breeze, contraptions around the you they get activated that could be quite clever of the fight as well which is like it's a complete new kind of mm, yeah i think that is cool thing. and, and I, like, it's very Would you need that? Like a breeze really like could be it, it could be used in some sort of farm to activate contraptions for you as it really shoots. Like. It could be and an idea. Just a, just a thought. I know I'm not probably the not only necessary, one, but, but could like be. when can we play it? Well, actually, quite soon. So oh, the here features we we've shown today will come to betas, previews, and snapshots in the coming weeks. Really? Then, oh, that's cool. Just like last year, we will announce some more features throughout the development process. That's cool. So that's it's very amazing. soon, isn't it, snapshot? We need to head to the cherry grove. Yes, I think we should okay, go what's in the cherry for some fast traveling. Oh, Perfect we're going to bump into, uh, into Jens. I don't know why I, I, I call him Jens. He's, I, mean, is fine. I know he's called Jeb. And I, I mean, his real name is Jens. Because they don't pronounce it, they pronounce the J's as the Y's in, in Sweden. But I, you know, I'm just going to call him, keep calling him Jens. Even though he's, he's Jeb, isn't it? <laughs> here we go, it which is the mob winner. I don't really care now because it's not a penguin, but anyway. Winning mob of this year's mob vote. Tell us. I have to say, this year we've been amazed by the massive participation in the mob vote. We've never had so many votes. Really? Your oh, that's cool. passion and energy in And we're just sad that they're not all being added. Building. Okay. Why do you add them all? So I can't wait to see who it is. Stop doing the mob vote, just add them all. It because no one wants to wait for these kinds of things. No, we don't things, want to. Which reminds me of a story. It Here we all go. started yeah, back when Pete I was comedy just guy. a young boy. Oh, sorry. So unprofessional. Tiny Gens. Hey, I'm in the middle of Minecraft Live. No, I, I know. I'm just telling this super relevant story. It sets the scene. No, I understand. Okay. I don't want to keep... Okay, got it. That's it. He's gonna lose his job. Sorry, um, wrong number. So, the oh, really? winning mob. <laughs> yes, soon to join Minecraft, the winning mob for the 2023 Minecraft is... Mob vote da -da -da -da. is the Armadillo. 
the armadillo. Guys, why did you vote for dog armor? Why did you vote for wolf armor? I'm sorry, even the cr I personally think the armadillo was my last choice. All right, I'm telling you now. Armadillo was my last choice. I mean, cool, you get wolf armor. We can put it, but they better go I'm big so on the wolf armor. I'm so excited to see that little cutie in the game. It's hard you could have had extra reaching building. You could have had penguins. Anniversary of and you chose wolf armor in an it's going to be I mean, it's cool the Savannah doesn't have anything in it, but and surprises. anyway. We'll celebrate you chose, all of you, you, you in chose the community badly. as like the we Phantom journey all over through again. the past, <laughs> present, and look to the future of Minecraft. There are lots of exciting things to look forward to Well, then again, to if, if it stops you all from dying, it's a great addition, I For suppose. Years, but I always leave my dog at home, so I <laughs> never the Minecraft community create parodies of their favorite music. It's oh, Minecraft music parodies. Been a hey, wish I've done that. To see an artist take their own song and turn it into a Minecraft parody. Okay, who's done it? Today, that wish comes true. I'm excited to welcome a Minecraft player who also happens to be an incredible musician, Here Alec Benjamin. This night is cool, got my pickaxe in my hand. Alec Benjamin, do I know him? I guess I don't really listen to his music, but he's got 5 million subscribers and I, I guess he's pretty popular, you know, 500. Yeah, yeah it's, I guess, um, why, why have I not heard of him? <laughs> so many of you guys probably like, I have done. And he plays Minecraft. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to watch it on here because um, it, it might be copyrighted. And I don't want to get my, my <laughs> this video taken down. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. All right. Well, we don't know the name of the new update, but we know it's some cool stuff like new combat -y kind of stuff and exploration. I'm always up for that. Yeah, I'm a Dillo one. RIP to the penguins, but I think they'll still add them. I think they still add the penguin, hopefully. But we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the updates. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what, what, what comes next.